Hello, my name is Emma and I'm the course leader and teacher of graphic design at Long Road. My background is in both graphic design and illustration, having worked freelance in both these areas and studying both of them to master's level. Hi, I'm Danny Leyland. I teach with Emma on the graphic design course. I've got a background in uh, fine art painting, but I really enjoy teaching design because I believe it offers amazing opportunities for young people in the world today. The creative industries are uh, the fastest growing industries in the UK at the moment, and so design is really more important than ever. Design surrounds us, and so designers have a huge impact on how we experience the world and also become a part of society. For that reason, I, I think design can be a really positive force for change, and so I'm thrilled that our students can, can become a part of that. Graphic design is a really fun and creative course where you get to use your artistic skills to make something in a digital world. The course is a 60 credit introductory diploma in graphic design, which means it's unit based and you do a different unit every single term on a different area of graphic design. Across the course you will complete seven different projects in total. The exciting different areas of graphic design you will learn about include music festival poster design, album cover design, designing a magazine about a celebrity of your choice. You will also design a logo for a restaurant that you come up with from scratch. You'll design a book cover for a book of your choice, advertising posters for social issues, and there's also a project where you can design anything you like, as long as it's influenced by the history of graphic design. When you first arrive at college, we introduce you to the induction project. Now, the induction project is not part of your coursework. It's really just a, a crash course to some of the key themes, ideas, and also technologies that we use uh, in the graphic design course. For the induction project, we ask you to design a poster for a music festival. To do this, we introduce you to using uh, Mac computers and also the program Photoshop. Now, for those of you who have used uh, Photoshop or Mac computers before, um, that's fine. We'll use the induction project to really solidify your learning and to stretch your skills. In this project, You'll be thinking about the basics of how you can use composition, colour, typography to communicate ideas through the vehicle of this poster for the music festival. The first uh, actual coursework project that we ask you to do is to design the cover for an album. You'll be uh, designing an album cover for any uh, band or artist that you choose. The focus of the project really is to get you to um, experiment with a range of uh, different skills and technologies and processes, but also to stretch your ability to come up with interesting and creative ideas. You'll be given a brief uh, by, by a client, as you would be given a brief in the, um, in the real creative industry of graphic design uh, in the world today. So it's gearing you for um, professional practice in the workplace. You'll be responding and developing a range of interesting ideas and you'll be uh, manifesting those ideas into really interesting and exciting graphic design. During your second piece of coursework, you will design a magazine about a celebrity of your choice. In this unit, you will learn a wide range of different complex digital skills and learn how to draw digitally and how to experiment with typography and layout. This will result in a magazine that you will submit that is about a celebrity of your choice showing off all of those skills. Another project we ask you to do is the logo project. In the logo project, you are going to design a logo for a restaurant. Now, like the CD album cover project, you are going to write and design the brief yourself. So you are going to uh, think about what kind of restaurants you might be designing this logo for. Now, that's really important because when you're designing a logo, it has to really accurately reflect the kind of company you're designing for. So when you see a logo, you have to be able to think immediately about what that company is trying to do. So what that means is this project is going to really develop your skills 
in, in thinking of, of the different ways in which sort of shapes and colors and just the overall logos can communicate ideas. So it's a really, really important project. You'll be coming up with initial ideas through thumbnails, which is a kind of um, ideas-based drawing in graphic design. And then from, from those uh, thumbnails, you'll be uh, producing a range of digital ideas in a program called Adobe Illustrator, which again is an industry standard program which graphic designers use in the professional workplace. Your fourth piece of coursework is all about the history of graphic design. You will learn about how graphic design has progressed and changed over time. And from this, you will pick your favourite graphic designer from the past. You will then use that graphic designer to come up with your own brief written from scratch to design anything that you like, as long as it is influenced by that designer that you've chosen. People in the past have designed things like skateboards, t-shirts, hoodies, sweet wrappers, chocolate wrappers, makeup palettes. The option is totally up to you. We then move on to the book illustration unit where you'll design a book cover for a book of your choice. In this unit, you'll learn how to tell a story through imagery and how to show a narrative evolving through just one piece of art. You'll also learn about how illustrators make and sell their work, how they work with clients and how they turn illustration into a profession. Your final unit is an advertising unit where you will make a social issue poster trying to change people's thoughts and feelings about an issue in the world. This could be something like don't wear fur, don't drink and drive, don't smoke. Throughout this unit, you'll learn how to combine words and images in interesting ways to get messages across very quickly. You'll learn how to create taglines, and in this unit, most people work with photography. Whilst studying the course, you'll learn a really wide range of digital skills, learning to work on Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and in design. You do not need to know any of these skills before you start the course because we start it completely from scratch. However, if you do know any of this beforehand, it will help you. On the course, we don't just work digitally. We also work in sketchbooks, doing things like collage, thumbnail sketching. Students go on to make things in things like textiles, 3D. The options are limitless. As mentioned before, this is a 60 credit introductory diploma which is assessed wholly with coursework. All of the coursework is marked internally and then externally moderated by OCR, the awarding body. For each piece of coursework, you will produce a digital sketchbook, which you will hand in at the end of the unit and print out, and a portfolio alongside this. This portfolio and digital sketchbooks can be used to help you with your next steps. You can use these at interviews for university, apprenticeships or job applications. One of the really important elements of the course is that every year we run these professional live groups. Okay, so throughout the two years of the graphic design program, we run these live uh, competitions with links to um, real companies and uh, real professional opportunities in Cambridge and the surrounding area. An example is uh, the Strawberry Fair, the festival in Cambridge. Um, our students every year get to design the t-shirts and festivals that are sold and promoted at the Strawberry Fair Festival. Um, now this is an amazing opportunity for students to see their work being sold and promoted in, in a professional environment. Students are able to put that work in their professional portfolios if they're applying for creative courses at university, or they could put it on their CV when they're applying for jobs or apprenticeships in the future. Other professional brief opportunities we've had in the past include designing posters for the police, posters for Arbury Carnival, designing logos for Adam Brooks, and even designing neon lights for a neon light company. You'll also learn a great deal of professional skills, learning how to work to a client brief and how to work with a client, doing things like professional emails and professional presentations. Another really important part of the course are the trips that we run every year to museums such as the Design Museum in Kensington in London. For this year's first year cohort, we went to the Beasley Design Awards 2019, where students got to see the most innovative, uh, creative, most cutting edge designs being produced, not just in the UK, but in the world today. So that's a terrific opportunity for students to really contextualize everything that they've learned at Long Road uh, in, the greatest, in the greatest scheme of 
of what's happening in graphic design in the world today. Another thing that's really beneficial for our students is that we get course leaders from top creative universities coming into college to talk to our students about their graphic design courses. This helps our students um, form um, their, their own progressionary routes onto university courses. Most students who take graphic design at Long Road go on to study graphic design at university. Some of the top universities that students have gone to recently include Central St Martins, Nottingham Trent, Norwich School of Art and Falmouth School of Art. Many others go on to do other creative things such as textiles, photography, architecture, fashion or the Art Foundation course here at Long Road. Some students have actually gone straight into industry gaining jobs straight away in local companies to be junior graphic designers. Graphic design is one of the only courses at the college that is 100% coursework based with no exams at all at the end. Every single piece of coursework you do counts towards your final grade at the end. You're marked past merit distinction, which is the equivalent to ECA. Every piece of coursework you do gets a grade at past merit distinction and these grades get added up together at the end to get your final grade. Over the past few years, we've had a really, really high distinction and distinction star rate with around 70 to 80% of students achieving this top grade. In conclusion, graphic design is a really fun and creative course where you get to use your own interests to make exciting digital designs. We hope that you come and join us one day.